Hi everyone, in this video you are going to learn how to create an elegant in-page navigation for your dashboard using the new bookmark navigator in Power BI. Not only this is a great way to save space on your dashboard, it also provides a great user experience, allowing them to seamlessly switch between visuals or views on your report. In one of my previous videos, I created an in-page navigation setup following a lengthy process using bookmarks, a lot of buttons and formattings. Now this has become extremely easy with the new bookmark navigator. Let's get started and build it together. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so to stay up to date with Power BI, Power Query and Excel videos from Excel Fort. I have already created a simple report with just four visuals in it. To create an in-page navigation to switch between uh, these three visuals using the bookmark navigator, first step is to make sure we go and organize our objects and the visuals on our canvas. To do that, we'll go to the weave tab. Under weave tab, you can click on selection. Selection pane uh, will list all the objects so you can group them, manage them very easily. Let me select the objects that are on the header part of this canvas. As you can see, it shows all the objects selected. I can right click and group them or press Ctrl G, double click and rename them as headers. Now I have four visuals. On the canvas i can select them pressing ctrl and clicking on them press ctrl g this time i can double click and name them as info so i can click on header and move it up to organize nicely under info tab i've got uh, the sales by country that uh, let it stay where it is and uh, i have three objects let me select all of them and I can group them as tab visual because this is these are these are the visuals I'm going to use for my navigation. Next step is to ensure the three visuals that I'm going to use for my in-page navigation are in the same size in terms of height and width. For that, let me check the first one under visualization pane, general tab. Let's open our properties and check the height is 304 and the width is 608 and click on the next visual. The height and the width are same and the third one it's same. Next I need to align these three visual to be in uh, one place preferably over here where I have the segment and product visual. So let me uh, control click these three visuals. To align all together, you can go to Format under Align. Let me use Align Right. This will align all three visuals to the right and then click Align Top. This way you will have all these three visuals to be in one place. Next, I am going to select uh, the group info and move it a bit down so that I can leave space for the in-page navigator. I can click on this three dot and uh, move it slightly down. Now I can go ahead and create the bookmarks for my in-page navigator. Under Weave menu, let me turn on the bookmarks pane and open the selection pane. And I can expand on the info group and the tab visuals and click on tab visuals so that all the objects the visuals under tab visuals are selected. Now the first case is I just need to hide uh, sales versus profit and the segment and product visual. So only the trend analysis visual is visible. This is my first bookmark. I need to click on tab visuals again. Click add bookmark and rename this to trend analysis. I cannot accept the default options that are set. Let me turn off the date and click on selected visuals. So display current page and selected vis visuals. Click update. The second bookmark is going to be the sales versus profit. 
so let me turn on the visibility and add another bookmark and this time i'm going to call it sales versus profit and the options selected visuals no data and update and the last bookmark will be for segment and product i'm going to click on add double click to rename as segment and product so the options no data and selected visuals and go and click on update so i have three bookmarks i can test them by clicking on this the first one and the second one and the third one can minimize the selection pane to insert the bookmark navigator under insert buttons you will find navigator the second one is the bookmark navigator by default the bookmark navigator includes all the available bookmarks in your report so in order to restrict the number of bookmarks or whatever bookmarks you need to include you need to group them so let me uh, group these three bookmarks together you can control click right click and group so let me call them as tab you can name anything you want let me name it tab visual so it's meaningful so now under format navigator bookmarks you can choose the tab visual group if you have multiple bookmarks uh, on a page on a report you can group them and assign the group to the bookmark that you want to use next step i need to align this right on top of the visual group i already have let me resize this let's check if it works as expected trend analysis sales versus profit and segment now you see how powerful this is without having to create multiple buttons in this case i would have created six buttons to achieve this sort of functionality bookmark navigator provides an easy way of setting this up now i can apply some formatting to make it look nicer select the bookmark navigator and the format navigator in style the default you can turn off the border you select the selected state in the text we change the font to semi bold then it will look bolder when something is selected and the fill color will be white again text I don't want white since the background is white i'll turn it to black it's always good to rename uh, these objects let me select the bookmark navigator under selection pane you can name this as bookmark navigator and drag and drop it right inside the group tab visuals to highlight the button that is currently selected we can provide a line just below that similar to what you see in power bi tabs here or any place where you have tabs to be selected we can replicate the same thing uh, for our bookmark navigator as well so let me first create a copy of this bookmark navigator Control c Control v i need to change certain options here under properties under visual uh, let's go to style and turn off the text i don't need the text the selected state will i'm going to change it to this color and also change the shape to something like a parallelogram i need to adjust the height properties height the minimum is 12 now let me open the selection pane and uh, rename this nav let's call it bookmark nav line so i need to bring this down all the way to the last position next place it right below the bookmark navigator that i initially created we can do the alignment i can select both under format we can align align left this time now you see the same effect as you see in power bi application 
now it has become very easy for you to make changes or modification to the bookmark navigator right suppose if you want to rename uh, any uh, of the title for this bookmark navigator you just need to go to the bookmarks and rename let's say segment and product if you want to call it just segment you can just rename it it reflects immediately right now suppose if you want to add uh, another visual to this okay you want to provide four tabs instead of three with another visual you can easily do it let me just demonstrate let's say you want to uh, add another visual with the analysis for the discount band by sales let's make a copy of this visual control c control v and uh, i'll go and change the visual type to say a donut chart and remove product and segment add the discount band field So under selection pane, I need to bring this within the group. This is the benefit of creating groups. So you can work with group instead of individual visual. Let me put it at the end and rename this to say uh, discount. I can place it right on top of the current visual. Now you need to go open the bookmarks pane. Let's create a new bookmark for this discount visual. So, uh, I'll click on tab visual first and add a bookmark. And I need to bring it inside the group. Double click and rename it to discount. So the visibility should be adjusted now. I just want to show only the discount and hide segment and product so right click on this turn off data selected visuals should be on click update after the changes now we need to go back to the bookmarks that you have already created and make sure the visibility is correctly set as we have added a new visual let's check trend analysis this is fine sales versus profit also fine and the segment yeah and discount sometimes you may have to go and re-update the bookmark if the visibility is not correctly organized with this i have come to an end now we have learned how to create an in-page navigation using the new bookmark navigator hope to see you in my next video please subscribe and stay up to date thank you very much